tonight's programme prays for a brave Kent woman who became an inspiration to thousands of cancer patients. Now, a memorial service has been held today for a young woman from Kent who became a real inspiration to thousands of cancer patients. Nicole Dryborough from Whitstable died last month at the age of 21. Yes, Nicole was uh, diagnosed with cancer of the spine aged 14 and given months to live. Despite losing her sight and hearing, she went on to write two books and to raise thousands of pounds for charity. Ian Palmer reports. Cancer took away the use of her legs, eyes and ears, but it never diminished her ability to help others. She said, one day I'll get my own back. <laughs> and she is. <laughs> Nicole Dryborough died of a brain hemorrhage last month. She was 21. In that time, she wrote two books, kept a blog, and raised thousands of pounds for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Her friend and musician, Matthew Lombard, helped her raise some of that money. Nicole's courage and determination attracted attention. Here she is receiving a Diana Award at Downing Street. The work she did touched many lives. There were many words of tribute today. The congregation's tribute to Nicole was to wear her favourite colour, pink. A friend said even Nicole's thoughts were pink. To celebrate her life, feathers were collected and placed on the altar. The singer-songwriter Newton Faulkner met Nicole in Kent last year. A teenage cancer trust patron, his tribute filled the cathedral chamber. to get praise or win awards. I do it because I love it and I want to make a difference. It's my way of giving something back and leaving my mark on the world so that when I'm gone, I'm not forgotten. You are on a ledge. Nicole's ambition was to raise £100,000 for people suffering with cancer. Today, the congregation was told she had reached her target. Ian Palmer, BBC South East Today, Canterbury. Memorial for Nicole Dryborough.